and welcome to this week's installment of Dusa TV News, the Halloween edition. I'm Jessica. And I'm Joe. Here's what's going on in Dundee this week. Dundee University was last week forced to apologise to a student after failing to honour a commitment they had made to her regarding her thesis. The student, known only as Miss C, complained to the Scottish Public Services Ombudsman after university examiners decided her final coursework was only worthy of a master's degree and not a PhD. Miss C contested the decision and the university informed her that they would refer the matter to an external academic for a second opinion. However, the second opinion actually came from an employee of the university and the Ombudsman report concluded that The university should have honoured the commitment they made leaving the university with no alternative but to apologise to the student. The timetable for the exams at the end of this semester is now up on the university website and can be found at the link below. Exams will run from the 3rd to the 14th of December and some may be subject to date or route changes. So make sure you know when and where you're going. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. Last Thursday, the Dundee University History Society organised a trip to St Andrews to attend a witch tour. Students learned about the darker side of the famous town's history from guides wearing period dress, and there were a few scares to boot. It's a very, um, very enjoyable, but scary at some point. There was a few uh, tough moments, you know? Yeah, did. And I signed my soul to the devil. Well, wow. oh, you didn't sign the paperwork. Oh, yeah. you but you I gave Katy Perry, so it's okay. it's okay. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I think it was a success. I mean, never been. <laughs> I spit in a lot, really loud. Um, there, was, there was a lot of jumping and general scariness and nuns waving crucifixes. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like that. Um, it was really good though, the history was really good. Um, I definitely recommend it to you. Yeah. I mean, it was the scare with that education. <laughs> In the latest of a series of medical research breakthroughs at the university, Professor Dan Van Alten's team have uncovered an inner workings of an enzyme OGT, which, unregulated, plays a key role in developing diseases such as cancer, dementia and diabetes. Professor Van Alten explained that the importance of the new research published in the Nature Chemical Biology Journal, saying The reaction of this enzyme is important for keeping proteins in the cell in a healthy state and when this is misregulated, you get diseases. Now we understand how this enzyme works, we can make inhibitors against it and we will be able to look at how bringing OGT back to normal levels affects tumour progression. The hugely popular big band will be hosting their annual gig, The Cooler, here in Dusa on the 7th of November. The session, extremely well received last year, will be taking place down in Mono. Tickets will be available soon on the Dusa website and from the Premier Shop on campus. Some of you may have noticed a certain bongo playing giraffe roaming around Dundee a few days ago. Dusa TV dispatched its wildlife expert, Joseph Black, to track and observe this magnificent animal. The giraffe. Is one of the most iconic of Africa's species. It roams the glades of Kenya, of Somalia, and of Dundee. Ah, we are just coming up against a giraffe right now. Now, we must be careful not to disturb him in his natural habitat. We are here with a giraffe just now, who has been sat out here in the wild for some days playing these bongos. Mr. Giraffe, could you tell us what made you decide to leave Africa and come to Dundee to play the bongos? A nice up there. Nice up there. Climate. Climate change. <laughs> of course. An issue which affects the giraffe community massively these days, I understand. Who taught you to play the bongos? The Dutch guy. The Dutch. They are bongo enthusiasts, those Dutchmen. So, what made you decide to start helping people in the way that you do with your bongo-based music? Boredom. Apathy is a big problem in the giraffe community, as I understand it. Well, there you have it. The famous Dundee giraffe. 
This is Dusa TV. I'm Joseph Black. And this is a giraffe. Back to the studio. Finally, unless you've been living in a cave your whole life, you'll be aware that today is Halloween. <laughs> there is, of course, an epic party here at Dusa tonight, and we at Dusa TV have been busy filming our own skit of horror. The Dark Raven Chronicles will be hitting up our Facebook page and YouTube soon, so keep watching. And whatever you're doing tonight, stay safe and stay scary. If you've got any news, send it to info at dusa.tv. That's, That's all for, for this week, Dundee. Dundee. Ah! <laughs> Miss C contested that the decision that was the. E oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, what? And now up. Oh, that's wrong. The grammar. The timetables for the exams. Oops. After failing to. Sorry. <laughs> University informed her that they would be. Refer for fuck's sake. <laughs> Change or date room changes. <laughs> stay safe and stay scary. Why did I do that? Why did I do it like that? <laughs> 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 Worst song in the movie ever.